Hey guys and welcome, my name is Derek and today we're gonna play the Forgotten Treasury. So last episode I said we might do this and it took me a whole thing of 5 minutes to put this group together which is awesome. I wanna thank everybody. Uh, Brand new one is awesome, you get people together and we, we have a couple of 100s and an 87 guy who wanted to help, still have some deeds in here. That's cool, I'm okay with that. And, uh, but it obviously makes this a lot easier than it, it should be on level. But finding a pure on-level group is probably pretty hard. Um, it's weird, apparently you have to be 54 to officially join. So if you're not 54, you can still go in, but somebody else has to open it first, and then you go in. I don't know if you can hear those voices. It sounds like ghost dudes, but it's supposed to be just orcs. So Forgotten Treasury, it's pretty simple. Uh, all we have to do for right now is to kill everything in the upper stage, which is a bunch of these um, new tenants or whatever. They do have a debuff, so you think, wow, well, level 100 guys and they're still alive. They do have a debuff where they absorb 90% of all damage uh, for melee and range, so the guard, the hunter, the captain, they're not doing anything basically. It's all me, the runekeeper, and the mini. So that's why it takes a little bit longer. It can be very annoying. Don't worry about those strong boxes and uh, and the wheels yet. There's a little, a little puzzle game in here. Back in the day when they still made puzzle things, when they had a instance designer who liked puzzles. Is you have to um, you have to uh, click the wheels in a specific order for it to work. It's a bunch of these here and uh, some more quest items, basically. You have to loot the, the these guys if you want the the quests, all the quests to be done. I forgot to loot one. Okay, I can spoil that and I forget one coin. Once you're done with the quest, you can't go back here again. So if you miss it now, you miss it. Which sucks, but yeah. So yeah, so these orcs that sound like ghosts. They have this, I don't know, this otherworldly voice and it doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, at level 100 mini, of course, killing stuff, one shotting stuff. As said, it would have been better on level, but all you can do. I can still give you guys a quick view of this instance if you've never seen it. Much as said, I don't know how many people have actually played this. It's not a lot of people do this. Because you don't get medallions for Mori armor, and it has this weird level 54. Yeah, the rewards here are very sad. Even even you know back in Moria, the rewards here were very sad. Can you know why we try to see here? <laughs> you get a lot of uh, reputation, which is cool. While well, we finish just the deed. Get some quest stunts. So now, here's what you have to do, is you have to, everybody has to be at a wheel. Or somebody who knows how to turn the wheels, that's the dude. And then those mirrors will change and you have to brighten up the whole room, basically. So everybody's going to a position right now. I just actually just gonna, now spoiler, take us to drives. I'm doing a voiceover and not recording these live. So there's a little, I'm, I messed up. <laughs> I did it too late. So yeah, there's those six locations here. Well, there's none here, that's where the stairs go down. There's one on the other side. So yeah, there's the order. So this is the wheel one. Uh, this will be, I think, four. This is wheel two, I think. I kind of annoyed at myself that I didn't look at it. So what will happen, the statues will move and then can see how they mirror the, the light in. I should click it right now. I clicked it too late. I'm still not clicking it. See, now Triple is clicking it, and I should have clicked it first, but I didn't. So, yeah, I messed up. I didn't pay, pay attention. <laughs> and we messed up because of that. So that was my fault. Sorry about that. 
Oops. But you don't lose. You have as many tries as, as you can uh, need. So yeah. My bad. Yeah, no, nobody messed up for I just clicked it late. <laughs> so this is number one. Um, a little puzzle thing. You don't have to do a time to like one person can do it, but it's just easier. Everybody says them. All right, so number one uh, over there across is number two. Now I need to spin it. Again, I, I don't pay attention. So now I go, and then the person next to me has to spin it. I can see right across that person spinning now. Then the person across has to spin. Right over there. And then uh, the person on the very left has to spin last. He's spinning. There we go. And that should do it, right? Because I'm getting stuck here. Last person not spinning, but they're on my left side. There you go. And now everything is nice and bright, and the boss will turn up. Well, the, the door to the boss will open. So a little puzzle game here. Yeah, I don't mind those. I mean, obviously it's once you figure it out once. Who cares? But I mean, it's the fun of figuring stuff out. And you just jump down here. This door opened, and you fight not the last boss, but the second boss. Well, I guess it's the first boss. I don't know if you can hear that my dog is. Freaking out because some people are running around. Hey, it's okay. Uh, he puts down a bunch of eyes. Apparently, if you stand where uh, Biani is standing right now, you don't get not get uh, the eyes. The problem with the eyes is they increase your induction time, which is really really bad for a runekeeper. Look at those interactions. <laughs> and then the, the the green one just takes damage. It's it's nothing. I mean, back in the day, it might have been a problem. But yeah, the purple eye increases your induction time, which really, really is bad for a runekeeper. But yeah, if you stay behind the pillar, apparently you don't get the eye. Let me just beat him down. Is that very easy with two level 100s? Not too much of a challenge. And then there's a three strong boxes, which is kind of weird. Uh, there's a. Item for the taxidermist here, and then just a bunch of other stuff and mostly runes and relics. We don't need that one javelin. Just gonna pass on it in case somebody else needs it. Same with that sword um, and that earring, which probably is good for that um, captain. And now you go to the final boss, which will be two trolls. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while for me to do this stuff. Uh, this instance, I probably haven't done this instance in three years. So I didn't know the the combination anymore for the mirrors up there. But, nice thing is now, once the store opens, those two trolls will come up here. Um. They're interesting as in they get more powerful if they're together, so if you're on level, you want to pull them apart. If you're not on level like we are, it doesn't really matter. And also, if you hit uh, Scum, you will actually damage Uru, whatever his name is. And if you hit um, Uruka, Ur Uruf, you actually damage Scum. So that's like the DN rate. You hit one troll and you damage the other troll. Um, but yeah, other than that... I mean, if you have a group like this, you can just burn it down. If you're on level, you want to separate them and just focus them down, basically. And that that is it. That is the whole instance. It's relatively fast.
I mean, a lot easier if um, you have a bigger group. Get a nice um, tanking item here. Just more uh, relics and runes. There's no uh, medallion of Morian here. And as you can see on my side, I still have to do one more dwarf coin. <laughs> but I still have to kill four more defilers too. There's only four defilers in here apparently. But you can't go in again. So if you don't finish the quest, no, you, you don't finish the quest. And that's stupid. But anyway, uh, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed.